Okay, figured while well, I'm letting my Dremel cool down a little bit here, um, catch up on where we're at and where we're, we're sitting. Got the neck pocket all cut out and routed and sanded and all that with a nice fit. Got the first pickup cavity done. And uh, that sits in there nicely. Want to want to make it uh, have a little bit more wiggle room, so I can do some adjustments that are perfectly aligned later. But we're in the process of getting ready to route that second one out, and uh, taking my last drill bit here and this bent, and uh, drilling a bunch of holes in here, and I'll chip that out with a chisel, and then I'll take. <coughs> that bit route it out to depth and shape and then do the final sanding with the little drum sander so that's how we got to this one that's where we're at a little quick break here while it's cooling down you grab some coffee and uh, take a little break and we'll update you later all right got all our holes drilled so <clears throat> We do a little bit of live action and see what we can chip out here, and hopefully we don't make any mistakes. Get some of this cleared out. Okay, been a few minutes before since the last update here, and uh, as you see, I got got it all dug out and cleaned out. You wouldn't think that all that sawdust is from one pickup hole, <laughs> but anyway, took this one a little bit deeper, and we're working our way down into this one. So, if you're ready for some noise. This is what I've been doing, taking about maybe half to a millimeter at a time. I'm killing my eardrums. <laughs> Thank you. 
interest date for today. I uh, got up this morning, poured my first cup of coffee, checked on the glue job and uh, alignment, and it, not exactly where I wanted it, but it will work. So, see all the marks on the fretboard and stuff? We went over that in one of the last videos. And one of the suggestions was to scrape the fretboard. And uh, started doing that. And it's like, holy crap. Man, the grain popped. It got smooth all of a sudden. And you can definitely see where where I stopped and I started and or what's next. Look at the difference. Wow. And it's hard to shoot that angle. But yeah, I am definitely doing this whole fretboard like this before I go outside with the, the Dremel and do some more sanding and, and carving and and all that neat stuff. But yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I owe somebody a hug for that tip. Okay, all done scraping her down. Definitely looks much, much better. Guess it's time to hit it with some cleaner and see what it actually looks like with here. I did notice that the green down on the higher end of the fretboard stands out much much better now too well it's hard to aim that stupid little bottle looking through the camera <laughs> Oh yeah, you know, get on, get on the people that made these, this neck for maybe miss, missing some quality control or not putting the effort that we would into doing the finishing work. But you got to admit, the wood they choose and, and use is gorgeous. Yeah, let's see what that looks like now. Still got, still got a little bit here to do. There's a fret ding. You can see it better now. Oh yeah. Scratch is all gone. Can't wait to see what that looks like after I oil it. I'm not gonna put oil on it now. Especially when I'm going to be painting it with uh, lacquers and all. So, we'll have to wait for that reveal. But Get a green in there. Yeah. See a bunch of colors. on a nice, nice light streak that runs all the way up here. And then splits in and runs closer. And then starts again over here. It's going to look crazy under oil. <laughs> 